Good morning, my true crime junkies. How we doing today on December 22nd, 2022? Getting close to Christmas. Get your shopping done. <laughs> I know I have. But, okay, getting down to it. Um, the cops apparently found a white uh, abandoned Hyundai in Oregon. Oregon, however you want to say it. I know I have an accent. So, we're going to uh, take a look at a video on that. And I'm going to be doing my usual commentary and reacting. So, let's get to it. We have some news to tell you about in the case of the four University of Idaho students who were murdered a little more than a month ago, just over five weeks ago. There is a photo or a group of photos floating around on the internet, and I've received a lot of messages about this. Damn, look how dirty that motherfucker is. He's got rainbow sticker on the back and a bunch of dirt no, and no license plate. It is a white Hyundai Elantra in this photo and photographs without license plates and front end damage that has been found abandoned on a street. Yeah, I mean, that would, that would definitely be suspicious. I mean, the police are looking for that kind of car and then they find one all kind of, all screwed up and just sitting there. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would call that suspicious, right? Does everybody agree? corner in Eugene, Oregon. Now we all know that Moscow police have been looking But remember, there was just there was 22,000 of them just just around the Moscow, Idaho area. Okay? And this is in or Oregon. So, you can imagine um how many white Hyundais there are. Looking for a white Hyundai Elantra. I reached out to police in Eugene, Oregon, and they told me that they have notified Moscow police about this white Hyundai Elantra. It has no license plates, it appears to be dirty, and also has front end damage. I reached out to Moscow PD. Uh, a spokesperson there told me they are aware of the vehicle and they are working on it. So uh, this is an interesting bit of information. Obviously, there are 22,000 white Hyundai Elantras between the years of 2011 and 2013 that police are sifting through in the hopes of finding the white Hyundai Elantra that they are looking for. Uh, you may recall just about two weeks ago, Moscow PD put out the call saying that they were looking for a white Hyundai Elantra between the years of 2011 and 2013 that was in the immediate area of the crime scene that early morning on November 13th when those four college students, Kaylee Gonsalves, Maddie Mogan, Zana Carnodal, and Ethan Chapin were murdered in their home. Police have repeatedly said that the person or persons in that vehicle could have information critical to this investigation. So All right. Now, hold on. Let me let me do this, another search. Let's see. Hold on. All right. What I want people to know is this is a Moscow Police Department investigation. Moscow's police chief taking full ownership of a case with few clues and no named suspects so far. Uh, my command team oversees this. We have 94 years of experience uh, between us, and we're going to continue to work this case. Vowing not to give up after the lawyer for one of the victim's families criticized law enforcement on today. I'm not sure they're they are um capable of handling a quadruple murder I, that's what i've been saying i i don't think i mean this like i said this is the biggest case to ever hit the little town of moscow idaho and you know james fry is in over his head with on this one um and and maybe they should be getting more help and maybe there should be some different lead investigators I, I I agree with with the, the, this father here on the case. Police also say they know about a surveillance video that appears to be from the night of the murders. Oh, I, 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 
Okay, guys, look at my video right before this one. I did a, a detailed, detailed analysis on everything they said. They're, okay, they're talking about some pills. They're talking about, um, yeah, well, just go watch my video. Police say they've identified the Adam named in the video and that he's cooperating with detectives. Adam is a bartender. I mean, he's, some people are saying that, that he might be a friend of of one of the girls, but yeah, he's a bartender, a bartender at a local bar. Investigators have been searching for information about a white Hyundai Elantra that they say was close to the scene of the murders of the four college students last month. Hopes lifted yesterday when police took a closer look at one car matching the description that crashed in Eugene, Oregon, some 500 miles from Moscow. But they later said the owner is not believed to be related to the murders. Also, this okay, so the White Hyundai just confirmed by police not involved. So yeah, I was getting comments and requests, but they, the police just confirmed it and. Uh, there's the proof right there. This morning, some more background emerging. An apparent police body cam video posted to social media by a News Nation correspondent purportedly showing Moscow police called to the same house for a noise complaint months earlier on September 1st. Police later making contact with a woman who identifies herself as Maddie Mogan, who confirmed she lives there. None of the, the occupants that live at this address are here right now. So now you have a house full of random people. NBC News has not verified the video. A community still hoping they're one step closer to the truth. How are they one step closer? The car's not related. I don't know. But anyway, just wanted to do a quick video and uh, let you guys know. The White Hyundai found in Eugene, Oregon, not related to the Moscow, Idaho quadruple murders. So, until more news and until tomorrow, True Crime King out.